guys welcome back to my channel so if you can tell by the title today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a lip gloss so now the reason why i'm making this lip gloss is going to be for the video that will come after this so um i'm just going to tell you everything that i have and then i'm going to move the camera and it's going to be a voiceover and i'm not going to be talking like this um so first i want to show you guys i use tkb gel that's the only gel that I use. And I have loads of it from when I was um, EK and Beauty, E and K Beauty. So I have four things of TKB gel. And then I also have, um, so when we were, when me and Kim were doing E and K Beauty, I was the one that was making a lip gloss. So I already previously know how to make lip gloss, but I never did a video on it. And I figured, why not? Because some people want to make their own lip gloss or some people want to do lip gloss business and there's room for us all to eat so i'm gonna be showing you guys so the last time i made lip gloss i had scented stuff but it didn't taste like anything but you know how some lip glosses they taste like stuff so when you get it in your mouth it's not nasty i have cherry flavor and i got this stuff from um amazon I have green apple flavor watermelon flavor coconut flavor strawberry kiwi orange cream and it comes with a little dropper so next i have my lip gloss tubes as well as the little um thingy thing to put the lip gloss in the tube and i have more tubes here because these are from the last my last business as well from the lip gloss tubes Y'all gonna be seeing me in my uniform a lot lately because I've been working, y'all. I stay at work, guys. Like, that's all I be doing for. Y so I'm just putting everything out so I can have it. But it comes with the tube, and then you have the top, and that's what you screw on here. And then you have the cap that goes on top of the top. And I have another bag that has a couple in it. I actually can't use those because they didn't come up um, any tops. But now I have another unopened bag. A lot of this stuff is left over from e and Beauty when we stopped. Because it just got to be too much with us being long distance. And um, the base that I use to make it not so thick is coconut oil. And this is regular coconut oil just melted because it was in the attic and my attic is super hot, which is better like this anyway, because it'll help me be able to stir it faster. And then I just have a, this is clean by the way. And this is what I'm gonna mix with. And this is just a lot of old EK beauty stuff. I have glitter, but I'm not gonna be using that because this is what it made it look like, but it didn't really like come out like anything. And then I have, still have some sugar scrub and can make some sugar scrub. And then here is two of my e and Beauty um, lip glosses. So now guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so you wanna get you a bowl and your TKB gel. And you're just going to spence the TKB gel into the bowl. It doesn't matter what kind of bowl you use. I would prefer a clear one just so I can see what's going on. But yeah, you want to make sure that you get all of it in there because when you squeeze it out, there's still going to be a lot left over. So you want to take it like you would um, like a tooth, a toothpaste um, thing. And you know how you squeeze it from the bottom when you're running out. That's how you want to do the TKB gel. Just so you, you can make sure that you get your money's worth and that you use all of the gel that is in there. One pack of TKB gel can make you like, mm, I want to say like 10 to 15 glosses, depending on the kind of tubes you're using. The tubes that I'm using, it makes me about 10 to 15 glosses. And it also depends on how thick you want your consistency, because if you want to make more, you can just put more coconut oil and that will make um, more um, solution, which will 
in turn make more lip gloss. So as you can see, I'm just pressing from starting at the bottom just so I can get all of the gel out of the pack. And you see how much was left in that little bitty amount? Like you have to make sure that you squeeze the entire bag because there's a lot of gel in one pack. And next you want to take your oil of your choice. I'm using organic coconut oil because I just feel like that's the best thing to use. But you can use whatever oil you want. And um, I don't really measure it. I just put a certain amount and then I mix it together. Yeah, I didn't have a spoon. So I was just trying to find something to use. But um, you can just put a certain amount, mix it up. If it's not the consistency that you like, um, you can just add more. But if you put too much, then you're going to have to open up another bag of TKB gel and add more gel. So now I'm about to do something real stupid and use the um, syringe instead of going to get a spoon or a mixer to mix it. You can see the oil at the top. You just want to make sure that you mix it all the way around. And once you feel like it's stirred up enough or that you need more coconut oil, you can do so. And the last step is going to be adding your flavor. And if you don't have um, lip gloss flavoring, you can also use like scented oils. Um, before I got my lip gloss flavoring, when I was doing my cosmetics business the last time, I was using peppermint oil because I like the clear lip gloss with peppermint flavoring. So I was just using peppermint oil. You can use tea tree oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you want to use if you don't have flavoring. But you can also just go buy the flavoring from Amazon. It's super cheap, under $10. Okay, guys, so you're going to want to get a lip gloss brush or a Q-tip like I'm using and just test the consistency of your lip gloss. You just want to make sure it's not too thick but also not too liquidy. And mine was perfect. As you can see, my lips look luscious as ever. And the next step that I'm going to do is just get my flavoring of my choice and add it to my solution. So I chose strawberry kiwi and it wouldn't really focus, but you can kind of see what it is. It's strawberry kiwi flavoring and you're just going to add a couple of drops so you can like actually smell it. And <laughs> I was very struggling very hard to get y'all to be able to see it, but it wouldn't focus. So whatever. So guys, as you can see, I'm just going to put a couple of drops in it and it smells so good. It comes with a dropper, but... I started later just using, um, just pouring it in there because you're making a lot of lip gloss. So instead of just using a dropper three times, you could just pour it in there. As you can see, I was very generous with the amount of drops that I used. So next, you're just going to want to stir the mixture together again, like so, until you feel that it's pretty mixed. Next, you're going to dispense the liquid solution that you created into your tube or whatever tube that you choose to use so you can put it into your lip gloss tube. I'm using a dispenser that came with my pack of lip gloss tubes from Amazon, but as you're going to see, I'm going to have a lot of trouble with it. I'm going to put the trial error in here, uh, the trial video in here. Because I struggled a lot, but I want y'all to see that it just takes trial and error when you're doing lip gloss or when you're doing something new. Well, I mean, this wasn't new for me, but when you have new products that you're not used to using, it's going to take trial and error. And I found a better product to use after um, this video, and I recorded it so that you all can see what I used that made it easier for me. But now y'all are just going to watch me struggle. So I finally got my dispenser full and now I'm just going to attempt to dispense it into my lip gloss tube. Actually, I guess I decided to fill up another one. So 
So the second one is now full. And as you can see, making lip gloss is super messy. Regardless of how you do it, you're going to get sticky. And it's going to be so aggravating, but you're just going to have to push through it. So I'm opening up my lip gloss tube, and it comes with the top and the little thing that you put your lips on, and the actual tube. So what I tried to do was put um, the end of the thing into the lip gloss tube and press it, but as you're going to see, it was not long enough and it just filled the top of the lip gloss tube and didn't fill the bottom. So that was a problem. It was just a mess altogether. I definitely had to find a new way to do it because it just wasn't working at all. Okay guys, so I somehow managed to get it full. Um, not sure how I did it, but I did it. And yeah, I do not recommend doing it that way or using the dispensers that come with the lip gloss tubes because you're gonna be there all day and it's gonna be so messy. I actually, I remember how I did it. So I'm a lash tech and I have lash brush covers, which I get from Hobby Lobby. They're just kind of like cardboard straws. And so I cut it about two and a half inches and I placed it on the end of the dispenser. And while it doesn't fit all the way, it was a lot easier than the previous way was, but it still was kind of messy because the lip gloss would seep out of the, um, the cardboard straw and get all over my fingers and yeah it didn't fit tight enough in order to not seep out but that was the second trial and I'm gonna show you the third trial which is the most which is the easiest way and the most effective and you're able to do a lot more lip glosses and it's a lot less messy Okay guys, so I was only able to make two right now because I have to go to a lash appointment. But as you can see, they're in and it smells so good, y'all. I use a strawberry kiwi and it still won't focus, but yeah, I use a strawberry kiwi. And I'm gonna try to look for an easier way to dispense the lip gloss into the tube without it being messy because it's super, super sticky, you guys. And um, the pink and white straw that I was using is from Hobby Lobby and um, I use it as a cover for my lash brushes, but I just decided to use it as that because it needs to be further in there so that when um, the lip gloss comes up, it's able to push up like this instead of just getting caught at the top. So yeah, I have my two clear lip glosses right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make lip gloss. All you need is TKB gel, Versa gel, and which TKB gel is Versa gel, and 
preferably a flavoring so it won't be like super bland and not smell good and coconut oil you can use a different type of oil but i just choose to use coconut oil because it's organic and it's coconut oil everybody loves coconut oil so yeah okay guys so i found a cheat code put it in a uh, an object that's not shallow get your turkey bester and i put a plastic straw on the end and i cut it to like a length that was good for me and this way when you stick the lip gloss all the way down in the tube it will fill up from the bottom and this you just pour it in Now it's completely full and I didn't have to do anything but pour. And so now I'm gonna take my top and I ran out on the last one, so I'm just gonna fill the rest of this one up. Super easy, just like that. Now I'll do another one. Put it all the way at the bottom, fill it up. Boom, done. Another one. Boom, done. And it's filled all the way at the bottom. I'm not going to be able to finish this one, but I'll start it anyway. You guys, that is a cheat code. So get you like the little syringe for the turkey baster get you a plastic straw you know like with reusable cups um you can buy plastic straws at walmart and what you want to do is cut it open like about this length that's about what two and a half inches you cut it at two and a half inches stick it on top and then pour your lip gloss into the tube as opposed to trying to suck it out because it's not going to come up through the straw it's going to come up through the straw and stop it's not going to fill all the way through here so you need to pour the lip gloss in and that my guys that is how you dispense your lip gloss. That's how you make lip gloss. And please stay tuned for my next video announcing my new business. And uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Oh, oh.